Hey everybody, and welcome to Home Maintenance Checklist for the month of May. As always, I am Paul Trogdon with Sweet Tea Realty, and let's go ahead and get into this. As you know, there are several things that we do every single month, and those are, we are going to test the GFCI receptacles. Always want to double check those, make sure that they are good. Second thing, smoke and CO2 detectors. We are going to double check those. Not necessarily replacing batteries or anything along those lines. We want to do that on a yearly basis, you know, at least, but we do want to test them and check them, especially around garages for the CO2. Now, the next thing that we're going to check is our home security system. Again, whether that is, you know, self you know checked or you know going through um, you know online security system we want to check that and test that the next thing is the HVAC filters again not looking to have to change it every single month depending on the filter and we go into that in other videos but if it's older than three months definitely want to change it but just check it and then the final thing is water filters whether that's whole house whether that's you know with your refrigerator um, or a particular sink um, especially if you have hard water make sure you're checking those so those are the things that we check on a monthly basis now again seasonally here's some things that we've checked and we've talked about this already for March and April but here's one final time that if we haven't gotten to these uh, during March and April we want to try and get to those right now and that is wash the outside of the home pressure wash use some chemicals whether you do it personally or whether you have somebody do it professionally and if you need help with that as always i have my people that can help you out so pressure washing while you're going ahead and doing that with the house you want to go ahead and wash the ac condenser unit out there uh, you know it's been all winter long some grass might got caked up last summer we want to make sure that that is good to go good and clean so go ahead and do that while you're doing the house uh, repair or replace damaged window screens again this is the time that we're opening up letting fresh air in you might have damaged it whenever you opened it up who knows something might have happened during winter so make sure you are checking that put down new mulch now for this month i want to um, specifically hit on pine straw um, if you got a tight budget that's okay. If you already have pine straw down, you've already got a nice layer. So what you can do is you can go in and fluff a second layer and then put the new pine straw down on top. So you're not necessarily having to put down a ton of pine straw, but what you're able to do is just take care of fluffing up and then putting some nice new pine straw down and it'll save you a dollar or two. Now, the final thing uh, for the seasonal is inspect and replace any caulk lines bathrooms, um, kitchen, basically you know, it might have gotten brittle or you might have some gaps that might have just happened. Again, you want to make sure that you're checking that during your season of the spring. Now for the month of May particular, first thing we're wanting to do is fans. Now if you haven't cleaned them, clean them. But what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to fit, um, switch the fan direction. Now, during the months, uh, winter months, you're wanting it to be clockwise because you're trying to bring hot air, especially if you have a high rise um, room or you know just ceilings way up there. You want to bring the hot air down. But for the summer months, we want to make sure that that's counterclockwise, and that can be done by on the fan. There's usually a little switch, and or sometimes on the remote. There's a place on the remote where you can hit and switch that up. Now, the next thing outside is exterior painting and or staining on the house. Now we've talked about cleaning outside, but what we're wanting to do on this is we definitely wanna make sure that we're looking to paint and or stain anything. Now, I would say this is something that you do wait till the end of May. You wanna make sure that you get through um, the um, polygeddon, um, all the pollen and everything, the yellow snow for the spring. Um, and once you pressure wash the house, do some painting then. Um, you know, so again, whether you do that before 
uh, the month of May or whatnot, I would say wait on the painting and staining of the house. The next thing that you want to check is your irrigation system. Okay. Now you want to make sure that you check each zone separately, make sure that everything's popping up correctly. And if you do see some low output, that might be because there might be a leak. So that is one of the things that you can check. Make sure that you're checking the zones, uh, the um, system brain box itself. Make sure that you're checking the timer. Um, if it's a dial button system, make sure that all that looks correctly and that everything is working correctly. So that's one of the things that you want to check. The next thing is have your chimney swept. Now this is something, if it's a wood burning um, chimney, you might not have to do that every single year. But I do say you want to do it now because, you know, because of the humidity that we have here in Southeast North Carolina. Um, it can start to stink if you kind of wait till the summertime. So make sure that you check that. Now, if you do have a gas um, unit, then you're not necessarily having to have the chimney swept per se, but what you are wanting to check is kind of all the, um, do a, at least a visual check on the outside unit, the um, cap, make sure that it has not been damaged, um, and make sure that there's no debris in that. Um, so those are some things that you want to do with the chimney. Uh, the um, final thing that we are looking at that you want to look at is, and this is if it's applicable to you, of course, if you have a chimney, you know, obviously you don't need to do a chimney sweep if you don't have a chimney, but well and septic. Um, so I always say that you want to have your septic checked, I would say maybe at least every three years. Now, if you're bold and beautiful and able to do that yourself, have at it, but don't call me whenever the proverbial part of that hits the fan that you're doing counterclockwise. So if you need a professional, um, I, again, I have partners that I can get you up with that can do that. But I would say on a yearly basis, you do want to check your well. And what I mean by that is you want to check the well house. Uh, just make sure that you don't have any small leaks. Um, you might even want to do a pressure test. And again, if you are having um, it inspected by a professional on the um, the septic side of things, then go ahead and have the well checked also. So, you know, but visually I would at least check it yearly and then maybe every three years have a professional check it whenever you have the septic checked. So those are the things that we are looking at for home maintenance for the month of May. Um, as always, if you do need somebody, I have great people like Alan Ronk, who is an awesome guy who does a lot of stuff for me and it helps me out uh, with things that I don't know and I get to learn a lot from them. And I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, do all those things that you're supposed to do with uh, the videos and everything. And and as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, we'll see you next month for the home maintenance for the month of June. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.